Uh, both of these officers were highly seasoned instructor pilots. They were both combat veterans. They both have served uh, long, upstanding careers in the Army, as well as time in uh, other services. Both of them served in Afghanistan, and I believe one of them served in Iraq, and then uh, they've both spent time in, in various places in the world where there's been uh, contingency operations for them to, to uh, participate in. They started off just like any other pilot. They went to flight school and then came to a unit. And in the Army, um, once you graduate flight school, that's really just the beginning of their training. When they show up here, um, and that's what these two individuals do, they're assigned, a pilot's assigned to an instructor pilot, and they essentially get on-the-job training that never stops. Um, we classify their readiness based on readiness levels. Uh, starting at three being the lowest up to one up to a pilot in command and there's often a, a lengthy process that they have to go through to get to pilot in command so the system is is well monitored and it's they're they're well vetted before they are allowed to take an aircraft out on their own and these two what what rank were they they were both actually uh, pilot in command and they were also designated as instructor pilots um, and both with, uh, uh, they were both senior instructor pilots, so they've, they've been instructing for years. And they were instructor pilots for Whitman and... Everybody, Rainfall? everybody you see standing here, including myself. Wow. One, another thing that goes along with maintaining proficiency with the air crews is every year they go through an, an annual proficiency check ride. Um, so these individuals were um, involved in that and they were on a, a fairly routine uh, simple training mission with designated tasks that they had to accomplish uh, here in the local area. Most of the flights only last about two hours and that's based on fuel. Uh, it happened during the course of their training so they were not yet complete with it. Um we were talking about this morning the fact that their training took place on the on the third runway the assault strip which is just several hundred yards from here. close right? to there right, is that right? Yeah, they weren't going way out they were there's a third runway over there you guys probably don't know about unless you fly into the Boise airport and see it that's only for military use and that's where they were training that night 